free tour of farms in the nation is stopping in Spartanburg and it will feature local artisans. 7 News Christine Scarpelli is live in Spartanburg at the Urban the Farm. Community. Good morning, Christine. Hey, good morning guys. Emily, Fred, nice to hear your voices this morning. We are at the Urban Farm. You can also hear the birds is why I mentioned that. They are up. We have some daylight so you can see just a little bit more about what's growing here at the Urban Farm. So this is one of the stops on the South Carolina Ag and Art Tour. Really neat because like we said, it's free and a great time for you to come learn a little bit more about where food comes from. See some artisans. They're going to be at seven farms across Spartanburg County really exciting that this county is on the tour. Um, it's kind of in collaboration on June 1st and 2nd with Newberry and York County as well. But back to Spartanburg here at the urban farm in, in Spartanburg area near the Hub City Farmers Market. Um, Meg, you manage this fabulous place. You take care of what we see in front of us. What do we see? What will people see? Because this is one of the stops. Well, in addition to the multitude of different um, annual vegetables that we have growing on out here, we do also have a small scale, um, high density planting orchard uh, full of different kinds of fruit trees out here. And the ones that we're standing in front of at this moment right now, um, I've got three different pomegranate trees. Wow. Um, these are a Russian variety of pomegranate tree. Um, so they're very cold. Cold hardy. These are actually um, tolerated all the way up to zone six. So there are places in Michigan that can actually Ooh. grow them, uh, which is quite fascinating. Um, but these guys over here, as you can see, they're just covered in flowers and blossoms and everything. Um, and so they're very, very happy right now. Unbelievable. We've got kale. We've got lettuce behind us as well. A couple apples over there. Even you're doing some experimenting. Mm -hmm. We'll get back though. We teased you last time, guys, about the grapes. And we have to come back with all of these grapes that are made for what wine and even just for selling on the, mm -hmm. the mobile market? Yeah, these are multi-purpose grapes. Mm. So I wanted people to be able to be flexible with their use. So they, you can use them as traditional table grapes. You can use them for raisins. You can use um, them to make your own grape juice, which Yum. is delicious. Um, but you can also make wine out of them. Very so multi-purpose. I love it. I had to incorporate wine in this morning somehow and we ended up doing it very good. So the first and the second, that's a Saturday and a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Meg will be here giving tours. Kids, you're welcome to come. Of course, it's free. But remember, if you go on the tour, bring some cash in case you want to buy something from the artisans. Shoes that help for walking, some yeah. water and sunscreen. Guys, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Christine. That sounds great. 622 coming up. It's a late.